Hey everybody, this is Bennett. I'm back with some more Kerbal Space Program, and I am leaping into this with such excitement because if anyone's been following closely with Kerbal Space Program, um, there was just, let's see, what was it be last night? KerbalCon, the 16-hour live stream event from Squad Studio who makes Kerbal Space Program, uh, wrapped up last night. And uh, at the very end, the finale of KerbalCon was that <laughs> they basically... I, I missed the end of it, unfortunately, but I have uh, heard from people in the community that basically they turned to the to the camera and said, "Oh, uh, point zero or uh, zero point one eight is out, by the way." <laughs> and this is the huge update, that I'm super excited for. Uh, that everybody is super excited for, and I, I don't have any saves in this. I did a completely fresh install. There is, you know, I not going to do any mods or anything yet, because this, uh, let's see here, player name, well, I'll just stick with Ben, and we still can't hit that career button, but that's okay, because the big changes in this version, wow, for one thing, this sucker is running nice, oh, look at the birds, um, and another, I'm going to the vehicle assembly building, Ah, we got some new music here. This is great. So I am going to try and oh, wake up here. Oh, I guess I gotta. I can't move because I don't have a capsule. Gotcha. Um, and one of the many many changes here that I love is new parts. So before I can do anything, I need a capsule. And let's see here. I don't want any crew. Um, there's nothing aerodynamic, huh, that, uh, uh, 1.7, 1.7, 1.7, and, uh, so I'm looking at the electrical charge for these different cores, I'm looking at their mass, I'm looking at all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, I'm just gonna go with this one, I guess. There we go. So we got our, our core. Okay, good, now we're back in the editor. So, complete revamp on the editor UI. Um, there's there's docking, there's maneuver nodes, there's electricity, there's solar panels. This is so exciting. So I'm gonna to try to build a rocket here, though I have a feeling this isn't, isn't going to be as fast as it could be. Um, I would like to build something, some, some kind of, some kind of a satellite. Um, so... Okay... I think that looks good huge monstrosity of a thing but let's go ahead and give getting this in orbit a shot now I don't want my station to be too high I'm thinking about hundred and fifty kilometers just because I don't want it to be a huge effort to reach it with ships getting to orbit I wanna you know I want, I want to be able to get there with as much fuel left as I can to refuel this system and also uh, da, da, da. Um, also so that ships that are going to be taking fuel can get up there without needing so much then refuel from this ship um, this is can I make like an empty fuel tank or something that would be kind of nice if I could put up an empty uh, put an empty fuel tank up there Where structural? No, it's not structural. It's utility. Um, I 
Oh, now symmetry works. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and throw a whole bunch of these docking ports on, because I have an idea to add stuff later to this thing. This is all assuming this is getting into orbit, of course. And one more set. This this way, I will be able to add a whole bunch <clears throat> of more fuel tanks on here. That way, I'll be able to take up uh, have this be able to store a lot more than just this one tank. But for now, this looks great. This looks great. This is. Yeah, we'll just call this the refueling tug, because this is... That's pretty much all it can do. So power, RCS... Yep, yep, yep. Alright, excellent. Then let's launch it. Wow, that was... That was a bit rough. Hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, it looks like that connection is not very, oops, not very good. Oh, I got my resources tab here. This is excellent. Oh, look at all this info. So much info. Okay, well. Oh, and it starts with my throttle up. Very nice. Caps lock. SAS. Don't want RCS turned on right now. And cross your fingers. Because <laughs> we will launch in three, two, one. <laughs> abort, abort, abort. <laughs> well, oh my god, Kerbals build everything out of TNT, apparently. Oh, there's still, <laughs> there's still some engines headed off there, okay. Catastro outcome, catastrophic failure. Let's go back to the vehicle assembly building, shall we? connection that connection is terrible <laughs> what do we say what do we what do we do here when uh, we need we need struts right I don't I don't know any way to do this but with struts Not six. Do it down there. These things are still a little picky. Okay, let's try it from here. All right, well, oh, that switched flipped me back to four. That's why. I kind of wanted a lot more struts. There we go. <laughs> Will that be enough? I don't know. But we won't know until we try. Because, yeah, clear all that TNT-based... <laughs> there we go. I think that looks a little sturdier. Alright, everybody, we're going to do a quick launch. Get all my controls set. And three, 
two, one. That's incredibly wobbly, but it's holding. Holding. That's not over. Overtax this thing. Eek. <laughs> um, looks like I might have benefited from some fins up top there. I don't know. This is nuts. <laughs> oh boy. Oh! Uh, for some reason, it appears my nose cones came off. They must have been pulling on those struts too hard. That's... that's a strange one. Oh, what's going on with my fuel tanks? This is crazy unstable. Okay, come on, we gotta go... Whoa, whoa! What's... Control. So. Okay, so. I don't think this can probably be salvaged. Um, I don't have any control whatsoever. <laughs> so, this has been Kerbal Space Program 0.18. Uh, I'm Ben, and I'm apparently not very good at building a rocket that will get into orbit. Um, I'm going to have to rethink my design here. Uh, perhaps my, my space station piece is too large. So I'll have to come back and do some smaller pieces. So until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Ben, and I'm launching things that are too heavy.